Hello everyone. How y'all doing? I'm doing great today. We're going to talk about guides briefly. We all have guides. There's no doubt about it. For the longest time, I never saw my guides. I just sensed them around me and that was good enough for me. And then I went to a teacher who said, oh, you have to know the names of your guides. Of course, I went back to my master teacher, checked with her, and she's like, no, you don't. So, I mean, I could vibrationally feel them. So I knew they were there. And finally, one night in a dream, yes, pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal with the date on it. But one night in my dream, I saw four people sitting on the bench. There were three elderly women and an elderly man, and I felt like he was in charge. And of course, when I awakened, I forgot my dream. You know, if you guys forget your dreams when you awaken, start working with your guides and ask them to help you to remember your dreams when you awaken so you can jot them down. And so, oh, here I go with the and so's again. And I know I really got to watch those eyes, don't I? I just start rolling them. My mom hated that. And so, okay, back to guides guides. So when I awakened, I didn't remember it. A couple of days later, I'm like, oh my gosh, I remembered it. I saw the people, you know, sitting on the bench again in my mind's eye. And I knew they had to be my guides. I love that. That's the best way to meet your guides, honestly. But then later, when I was like, you know, in my waking world, I never really saw my guides around me. I could sense them at times. I remember one time, now remember, I'm a freelance writer. I remember one time I had to write this story. I did not like this story at all. You know, I procrastinated, 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 and finally I sat my chair because now I'm on deadline. I sat my chair. I said, Mother, Father, God, Infinite Spirit, my writing guides. Please help me write this guy, write this story. Please help me write this story. And it was painful, but I finally got it done. Incidentally, there's no such thing as writer's block. We just don't feel like writing that day. Just saying. And so now we're back to guides. Finally, one time in meditation, before I sat up in meditation. The only time I sit really in meditation other than automatic writing, but I sat in meditation for a few minutes before a client came to my office um, who was receiving a meet, uh, reading from me. And I'm like, okay, fine. So go ahead and show me yourself, guides. And don't you believe every single one of them lined up. There was probably like eight or ten of them. And I was loving it. It was true. Guides are always around us. So now there's specific types of guides. There's our master guide. The master guide or the gatekeeper, some people call that, or the guardian angel. They're with us from the day we are born to the day we leave the earth plane. They help us with every single thing in our life. Now there's other guides as well. There's the Native American guide. There's the joy guide. There's the chemist. There's the nurse, there's the, um, what else, the chemist, the Native American guide. The Native American guide is a big one because I believe that helps us with every single thing on this earth plane, you know, to do with the ground and such. So how do you find your guides? Meditate on it. Yeah, how's everyone doing with their meditation? I hope you're doing all right. And so meditate on it. Ask Spirit to help you to meet your guides in your meditation. Pay attention to the people you see over and over in dreams. You know, more than likely, you're not going to be interacting with them. They, like, they're just going to be sitting on a bench, just like for me. Or, you know, sitting in a park. And just pay attention to your dreams. trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about guides and I'll probably think of something when it's over it's not when I always do I guess I guess that's okay then
Yes, we're having a little short video this week. Next week's going to be a blast because I'm definitely going to be talking about a phenomenon that has occurred in my office and other places that I've lived in the spiritualist camp. So until next week, bye.